This is going to be a how-to video on installing Ubuntu Linux onto a netbook. Now I have this uh, Hewlett Packard netbook, it's HP 2133, and I had Ubuntu version 10.04, the netbook edition, installed on this. And I was happy with that, everything was working. Um, then I heard about version 10.10 .10 that came out. And I heard about this new Unity interface. Uh, it sounded pretty cool. You know, you've got this bar down the, the side, I guess, with these icons, and you can move it around. But uh, I just thought I'd check it out. So I went into the software center and clicked on upgrade and uh, upgraded the system. And then uh, I found out that the Unity interface requires a certain uh, 3D accelerated graphics chip, which uh, this does not have. So it defaulted back to the standard GNOME desktop. I was used to having the nice big icons and the categories that the Netbook Edition used to have. So I was thinking that uh, I was going to reinstall version 10.04 um, on my netbook and I thought I'd make a video about it and show you how to do that in case you uh, were wondering. Now normally when you install Ubuntu Linux on a computer you would download the disk image of the, of the live CD uh, which is an ISO file which comes in around, it's around 700 megabytes you download that and then you'd burn it onto uh, like a CD like this. Then you'd put that in the CD drive and then boot the computer from that CD. And then from there you can install it onto the hard drive on the computer. Well, because this is a netbook, there's no CD drive. So how do you do it? Instead of putting the uh, ISO image onto a blank CD, you put it onto a USB drive one of these little flash uh, gizmos. Then you can boot from that instead. So let's, uh, let's see how you do that. Well the first step of course is to download the um, the live CD image and I'll put a link in the description where you can go on. You just go to ubuntu.com and the current version is the one that you'll see on the on the first page but there's another page where you can get the old version. I'll give you a link to that. Then you stick your flash drive into the computer, into one of your ports. And icon appears. You go into the system menu, go under administration, and then down to disk utility. Click on that. and click on your the data portion of your USB drive and I clicked on format and under scheme you choose master boot record now I'm not going to reformat this one but I'll just show you what I selected and then you click format and let it do its thing there and then after you do that this will all be blank but down here there will be a, um, uh, a button that says add partition you click on that and by default it will make a partition which is the size of the whole disk which is what I did <coughs> this is a four gig um, they recommend you use at least two gig um, although I have successfully put a live CD onto a one gig stick you click on that, you make, uh, and it'll ask you what format. I use the FAT32 format. And that's how, you, that's how you make the blank disk. Close that. And then to actually make the, uh, to make it into a bootable volume, go under System, Administration, down to Startup Disk Creator, click on that, 
that'll bring up this and then this is your source image you click on other and then uh, navigate through the uh, menus to find the uh, to find your ISO the one that you previously downloaded you select that there down here you click on your your the disk that you just formatted and click make startup disk and let that run it takes uh, it took me about I think 10 to 15 minutes something like that not too long all right next step is to USB drive in one of the ports and it's a good idea to not run off the battery so I'll plug in the uh, plug in the mains there I'll click on the uh, button to start and on this computer you hold down the F9 key to get to the boot menu every computer has a different key my other one has an F2 but this one's F9 now you notice there's two selections here for the SanDisk Cruiser uh, USB drive that's because one is the data partition and there's also a small read-only partition that has some files on it and I'm going to select the first one so I'm not sure which one it is okay well that wasn't it because it uh, it skipped over that and booted right up off the uh, hard drive into the standard GNOME desktop which you can see here um, so what I'll do is shut down and then try to boot from that other partition okay let's try this again Okay, go down to the second one this time. Now this should work, <laughs> hopefully. Okay, this happens sometimes. If you see something like this after you boot from the USB drive, what you do is type the word help, hit enter, and you'll go into this uh, help menu and it says push enter to boot so just hit enter and that's how you get past that now it should boot right up okay now it's booted up uh, this is uh, the netbook edition of Ubuntu 10.04 and it's running right off the uh, off the USB drive. This is what it looks like if you've never seen it. You got these sections like a file section, accessories. And you don't have to double click on them. You just click on one of these once and it'll open it. Internet it comes with Firefox. Of course, you can put uh, Chrome on here. We're processing all this. All right. So to install it, I'll go down to this icon, install netbook. Click on that. Okay, it's asking what language. I choose English. Click on forward. What's my time zone? I'm in Eastern time zone. Click forward. Now it says what keyboard layout do you want to use? Um, a USA layout. That sounds fine. Okay, now it's asking me about the disk. It's telling me it has Ubuntu 10.10 .10 installed on here, which it does. Uh, but what I want to do is uh, just erase all that. I've already backed up my file, so I just want to erase that and start over from scratch. So I'll click on Erase and use the entire disk. And it's warning me this will delete and install. Okay, okay. So I'll click on Forward. 
robot saying, who are you? Put my name in there. Choose a password. Uh, this is a... Uh, this is an HP 2133 mini note, so I'll say my password is mini note. Don't tell anybody. Okay. Click forward. And these are all my options, I'm sure. I'll click install. Okay, it's done installing. That took, uh, I don't know, less than 20 minutes. I'm not sure. I didn't really keep track. Now it's asking me if I want to restart. And I click restart now. And there we go. I just reinstalled Ubuntu 10.04 LTS Netbook Edition. Okay, I've moved my computer over next to my Wi-Fi router because there's one thing missing. The standard install of um, this version of Ubuntu does not contain the Broadcom Wi-Fi uh, driver and this computer has the Broadcom chip in it. So it's a netbook, of course I want to be able to use Wi-Fi with it. So what I have to do is go over here and unplug the internet from my Wi-Fi. And plug it into the computer so I'm going to get a wired connection. Uh, if you can see it, but the little uh, internet connection or icon is there. We go. Now we have a connection. And we go under system. Click on hardware drivers. Okay, and it went out to the internet and found Broadcom driver. So I'll activate it. Oh, it's asking for a password. Okay, then the driver is activated. I can just close this down. and unplug that and plug it back into my router. Well that's it. Uh, maybe later I can do a video uh, if you want me to about uh, about the netbook edition of this distribution. I kind of like it especially on this tiny screen. So uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.